Hey everybody, it's Shadowstar and Crystal here for another review of Supergirl. This time it's the second last episode, Resist. Well, Kara's an idiot. Yeah, there's a lot of dumb decisions in this episode. They had it. If she had just gone back with Monel, then Alex would have fired the thing and we would have been fine. It's Kara's fault we have a whole nother episode. Well, it turns out Superman was on the ship, so maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, but they didn't know that. From their perspective. True, but still, what a lucky thing they didn't shoot. Yeah, well, yeah, they could have killed him. The, oh, well. The episode starts off with the intriguing mystery, mystery of what Daxamite dressed Lena Luther. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Last episode, she was on the floor in some business suit, and then they kidnapped her, and she wakes up. Clearly, this is the first time she's been here. So, clearly, who dressed Lena Luther? I guess they don't care about, like, privacy and all that. Anyway, they want her to marry mon for some reason. Even though we've seen this story before, she's like, I like you, I want you to be my child-in-law, so you're marrying my kid. Yeah, we've seen this plot before. It's a bit like um, Ra's al Ghul with Yeah, Oliver. yeah. Oliver, I want you to be my successor, not my own child, so you're going to marry my child so you're in the family. Anyway, we've got Daxmites everywhere, which means everyone gets to fight. Maggie's here, Guardian's here, everyone's doing but their job. But she doesn't actually want Lena to help her lead. She just wants a child with half of Lena's DNA because I guess she figures the best thing for new Daxam would be to have a leader that's half human, half Daxamite. She I even guess. said they don't actually have to do it. They can make a child just by taking DNA from hair. But because of tradition's sake, she has to have them married first before creating a baby. Yeah, whatever. Her plan's asinine and insane. I know. If she didn't care about tradition and marriage, she could have just stolen their hairs and be done with it. Yeah. Anyway, Daxmites are everywhere, so yeah. We get Guardian, we get Maggie. They're all helping out at first. Anyway. Cat Grant's here. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Cat Grant is here, and oh boy, I've missed her. She is the best. She's the best. We get to see her immediately show up and confront Rhea and be there with the president. And then you get to see her be like with Team Supergirl and everything, which is great. Yeah. And then uh, she's just the queen of all speeches because, you know, first she gives, there's that speech in the alleyway with Kara when, you know, she's not sure what to do, whether she should save people. So first you get that great speech with Kara. And then, of course, you get the great speech where she inspires hope to everyone and distracts them. Except that when they first said we need a distraction, I thought they were implying they would take Kat onto the ship with them to distract Rhea. No, that would be a dumb idea. <laughs> it sounded funny at the time. No, but yeah, Cat Grant gets to solve everything with a speech just as Cat Grant does. Yeah, which is great. Oh, it's just kind of so... like in season one when they put Kara on a screen. And... You're right. It doesn't. It's, I mean, it doesn't save everything, but it's a nice distraction. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's a Deus Ex Machina like last time, but still, oh boy, it's great to have her back. And oh, I just missed her. You know, season two feels so different without characters like Cat Grant, and she brings in that style from season one. It's so good to see her back. I'm glad she's here for these two episodes. So she immediately recognizes James, but she did ask, "Where's Kira?" That's a good unless point. she's faking not knowing that. Well, who knows with Cat Grant? But she can apparently instantly tell that. Yeah, she could tell who Guardian is, even though you can barely see who he is. But he could just be any black guy. You can just see a tiny sliver. Yeah, it's probably John Jones behind there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's still asleep. Remember, he got knocked out by something at the end of last episode, and he's asleep. You might think, oh, why'd they do that? It's because Hank's Henshaw's here, and obviously they don't can't make him do too much. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, he's still knocked out for most of this episode. Mm. Oh, well, no John Jones for this episode. Yeah. Yeah, he could have been really useful. Yeah, but anyway, everyone finds out the president's an alien. Well, Cat Grant, Kara, and some of her friends do. Yeah, she did ask him to keep it secret. Yeah. And then Lillian comes back, so we're teaming up with Cadmus now. So, you know, even though we kind of dropped the Cadmus plot, Cadmus is here still, in a way. So, you know, Cadmus still came back at the end of the season. Yeah. In a way, she's sort of like Malcolm in the sense that she'll save her kid, but... She doesn't care about much else. True, 
But at least they're self-aware enough to realize Lillian would easily betray them. Yeah, yeah, Kara was smart. She had Wynne do something to Hank to, um, so they could get back. Yeah. Because she was smart. Yeah, and Guardian was smart too, because he was able to level the playing field by using lead dust to fight the Dathomite. That Dathomite. wasn't him being smart, that was Wynne's idea. True, true, true. But still, I thought that was great. And then, of course, you get the cliffhanger of somehow Superman's on the ship and he's fighting Kara. Yeah. So, yeah, I like how you can tell this is a season finale because everything comes back. It's like Cadmus, check. Cat Grant, check. Superman, check. Everything we've established in season two comes back. Yeah. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this episode. There was a lot in it. Obviously, yes, there are some dumb things with, like, the hero's ideas of, like, why didn't Kara just leave? Why didn't they just block yeah, the ship yeah. immediately? Not knowing Superman was there, it would have been the best idea for her to just leave with mon and Alex can push the button and blow the ship up. Well, dumb characters doesn't make dumb show, usually. But yeah. still, I mostly, I mean, come on. Yeah, gotta love it. You got Crank, Grant, and all, all right, this stuff. All right, all right, 8.5. I'll give it a 9. I'll give it a 9. There's a lot good in this episode. Yeah. And it's exa- this is exactly what a second last episode should be. Yeah, I'm just hoping the next one is just as good. Hopefully, Jean can wake up and have his moment. Of course, we've got one last episode. We've got to wrap up everything with the Daxamites and all that stuff. And yeah, you've got to see how this finale turns out. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... We've, I mean, Rhea cannot be changed. We cannot just talk to her. She's got to die. As much as I prefer it when the heroes don't kill, what else is there to do? Oh, you'll have to find out. I mean, I suppose you can lock her up in the DEO or something, but other than that... Well, you'll have to see what they do with her. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I believe the final episode is called Nevertheless She Persisted. Ah, yeah. Yeah. But whatever. Anyway, any last thoughts going to the finale? We'll see. We'll see indeed. We'll see you next time for the finale of Supergirl Season 2 and other things as well. See See you next time, guys. guys.